Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Mrs. Smith 88. So today I will be doing my September 2019 home fragrance empties. Unfortunately, I'm doing a voiceover because I did lose the audio for my video. So the first item I'm sharing with you guys is a Bath and Body Works wallflower bulb. This was in the fragrance Honeysuckle. It's a good fragrance, but I find with these wallflowers, unless you have multiples in a large room, they do not really disperse a lot of fragrance. The next item I have here is a Scentsy scent pack. My daughter uses these for her scent buddies. This one was a bubblegum blast. The scent had faded away in it, so it was time to replace her scent pack for her scent buddy. And these can be used elsewhere too. You don't have to use them in scent buddies. You can throw them in your drawers and that for fragrance as well. So the next item I have here is a Bath & Body Works smell. This one is in Watermelon Lemonade. Now when it comes to the Bath & Body Works smells, I do find that these are extremely overpriced for the size of the item. I'm pointing here to a Watermelon Spritzer Candle from Aldi, the Huntington Home Collection that was very comparable to the Bath & Body Works smell. The Bath & Body Works smells are $4.50 if you don't get them on sale. If you do get them on sale, I think they go on sale for like 3 for 12 which still isn't the greatest value. You're further ahead to buy fragrances like Sensationals or Better Homes and Gardens where you're getting them for like 2 two fifty for a 6 pack. So here is an item from Swan Creek Candle Company. This is one of the refill companies, I, refill tubs. I find these to be the best value. They're approximately like $14.50, maybe $16, and you get 20 to 24 ounces of wax. I like to melt these down in the microwave and pour them into silicone molds to make my own tarts. So as I'm showing you, that's what my tarts look like after I pour them in silicone molds. And then I bag them in polypropylene bags so that they stay fresh. So apparently I like to really talk about that Swan Creek tub. Hopefully we will be getting on to the next item here shortly. So that one was in Dutch Apple Pie. I did melt down a couple of my refill containers. So I'm hoping next month you guys see a couple more refill containers of where I actually used the melts up. So the next item I'm going to share with you guys is a candle from Aldi. This is one of the Huntington Home 3 Wood Candles. These are comparable to the Bath & Body Works candles. A lot of people call them Bath & Body Works dupe candles. This one was in coconut lime. It was not the greatest burner as you guys can see. I ended up having to melt that down and pour it into tarts as well. Sometimes the Aldi candles tend to be hit or miss, but for the price point, you can't beat it as those candles are only $3.99. So I tend to pick them up quite often when I see them in the Aldi ad. They come out with new candles, it seems like, every couple of weeks. The next fragrance is Watermelon Spritzer. This was a phenomenal burner, as you guys will be able to see shortly. I did burn this pretty much all the way down. I chose to stop it where I did because I don't like my candles getting too far down. I, end up, I usually end up tossing them out with about an inch of wax left in them unless they have a, I guess, good reputation of burning to the bottom. I don't always trust my candles as I'm afraid of glass breaking. The watermelon spritzer smelled very similar to Bath & Body Works Watermelon Lemonade. I also finished a large mason jar from Swan Creek Candle. This is the pomegranate blood orange. This month was a month where I spent a lot of time transitioning over fragrance wise from my summer fruity scents to my fall scents. The pomegranate blood orange, it had a decent throw to it, definitely better than a Yankee candle, but not the most potent. I did smell it really well in my kitchen, but a larger room, it was kind of on the faint side. I definitely prefer the Swan Creek melts over the candles. So 
So moving on from candles to my melts, I do have a pretty healthy stack, not the biggest stack. I did fin finish up a Better Homes and Gardens in banana pumpkin bread. Banana pumpkin bread is absolutely phenomenal. I hoarded that last year. You guys will be seeing a lot of that in my upcoming empties videos. I have a wax melt here from Huntington Home, and this was Tranquil Waters, so that is from the Aldi brand. Their melts are really affordable. I believe they're about $1.49 a pack. That was a very nice, fresh, aquatic fragrance. Really nice in the bedroom. Had a little bit of a tropical hint to it. The next home fragrance as well is from Aldi. This is a Huntington Home Wax Melt. This one is in Fall Nights. This was a dead-on dupe for Bath & Body Works leaves. I absolutely love this. I think I ended up only picking up three packs of it. I really have buyer's remorse not picking up more of it because when I went back, they tended to only have apple pie and vanilla bean left because people must have got the word that it smelled like leaves because it was brought out and it was brought out really quick at Aldi's. So the next home fragrance wax melt I have is a Sonoma wax melt. This is from Kohl's. This one is in Passion Fruit, Passion Fruit Punch and this was a super punchy scent. I wouldn't say that it technically smelled like passion fruit. It did smell like maybe pineapple a little bit of um, regular apple in there. Just a real fruity, tooty, drink smelling scent. We also have wax melts here from Aldi Huntington Home. And this was the cranberry, cranberry mandarin. This was definitely a good transition scent because cranberry goes really good into fall. The mandarin still gave it that little sweet note to it. So I did enjoy melting that. We have a Better Homes and Gardens Wax Melt in Flamingo Flower. This was my least fragrant, least favorite fragrance that I did this month. I wasn't too keen on the floral smell of that one. I have, it looks like, two more wax melts to share with you guys. But yeah, the Better Homes and Gardens Flamingo Flower was like super sweet, kind of smelled lemon heady, not too much of a floral scent. I do have here Fresh Linen from Huntington Home. Typical laundry scent. I'm not too keen on laundry scents, but for the price point, I picked it up to give it a try. Nice for the bedroom, good year-round scent because it's a laundry scent. Laundry scents tend to be non-offensive, but if I want to smell laundry, I'll just wash laundry. Last but not least, we have here another wax melt, and this wax melt is from Better Homes and Gardens, and this was Spring Sunshine. This was a very, very nice floral scent. It smelled like fresh wildflowers, like you're in a field of wildflowers in the summer. Very nice floral. So that is my home fragrance empties for the month of September 2019. Hopefully next month's video is much better and I have my audio on for you guys. I am so sorry that I had to do a voiceover and that this is not the greatest video. I appreciate if you stuck it through and watched this. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Bye everyone.